We as a system have been working in this area of safety and quality for a long time. What we have done over the last year, year and a half, is basically re-energize and reframe the priority of our healthcare system. Baylor Scott & White Health is the largest not-for-profit healthcare system in Texas. We have 50 plus hospitals. We have 45,000 plus employees. And so I think we're put in a unique position to really see what can we do as an integrated system that changes healthcare for the better. We talk about zero harm in almost every conversation. We talk about it when we look at our quality measures. We talk about it on our CEO calls. We talk about it in meetings and in huddles. It's the fabric of who we are. So in every organization across Baylor Scott & White Health, they're having safety huddles daily. And they may escalate something with some medical equipment, something with electronic health records, something about the environment. We take those huddles and we continue to escalate until we get resolution. The resolutions that are communicated back down to the same staff that escalated the concern to start with. So that closes the loop that my voice matters. Uh, that no matter how small the potential risk is, it needs to be spoken about during safety huddle. One of the things that we've done that is applicable across the system is really look at behaviors. When we do uh, root cause analysis and we drill down to why an error happened, when communication is part of that root, we call it out. Historically, there have been people in the room that may not feel comfortable speaking up. We talk about escalation during orientation and we give them the, the text to say, I need some clarity. And with that, all of us understand that word is connected to potential harm. It gives us a shared language, a common language in how we think about and talk about zero harm. It gives us clarity around where we're going and how we get there. The answer is to say, what is that issue? Let's see if we can resolve it. If it turns out it's not an issue, then the answer is to say, thanks for bringing that to our attention. Turns out it's okay. We can continue to proceed, but it's good that everybody gets on the same page before we do that. Therefore, they feel empowered to stop the line in case they see something that is not good. Great catches are where people have identified uh, and spoken up about a potential problem before it's reached the patient. We tell those stories about what they did. At each campus, there's a different recognition process in how they recognize those individuals locally as well as uh, at the system level. We tell those stories about what they did. To highlight those individuals who've spoken up, that's great, but really it's to communicate and encourage and empower Everybody. All of these people are very bright. It will be a big mistake if we don't tap under their creativity and the knowledge to tell us what to do. One of the exciting things I've seen that Baylor Scott & White has done is it's not a patient safety goal just for the bedside providers. If you think about zero harm, it underscores everything we stand for. It's a natural outcome of serving faithfully, acting honestly, never settling, and being in it together. Human Resources has a unique opportunity. We're in a better position today to help our caregivers solve problems they are experiencing at the front line. And if we get that right, we have the opportunity to improve that patient experience. People are, are empowered by this. They're invigorated. I think we're in a better spot today than we have ever been. Our harm scores are decreasing. Uh, our never events are decreasing and at the same time, our service is increasing. Blessed to be part of an organization that's been committed to this for a long time. So I don't know how you start exactly from zero, other than to say it, it really just takes one champion to start communicating this. So let's not confuse the message. It's simple, never waver. We're really clear about what zero harm means. It's not just about a metric that comes out on a scorecard. It is every day mentioning harm in your vocabulary. It is telling the beautiful stories of great catches. So it's a combination of things, you know, leadership, communication, cultural changes, and reframing the importance that this has for our healthcare system.
You can get lost when you think about percentile rankings and how everyone else is doing. But what's really clear, zero is clear. It's clear that we're on a path to get there. It's clear what our goals are. And so then we must inspire our staff, draw on their unique contributions so that they can help us identify all of our risk areas and help us achieve our ambition and our goals.